This is uh, just a quick video to show. Uh, I've never really seen it. I like to make videos that kind of show sometimes what peop other people aren't showing that you can use particular items for. Uh, this one in particular is for uh, using the TIG torch as a, basically as a regular torch. Like if you don't have an oxycetylene torch, you just need to bend some metal like this. And in this case, you can get a large hammer and bend it, but the thing is when you bend it without heat, it puts a lot of stress, and it, if you try to bend it back, it's going to, um, what, what's going to happen is it's just going to break in half. So you need to have some kind of heat in order for you to uh, bend it properly with it to have some type of, uh, some type of strength to it, really. Because if you bend it, like, if you just bend it right now with a large hammer, and the reason you would be bending something like this is real simple. Uh, over here I have this, uh, I made this bracket. I guess I can show you that. I just made a little, a little bracket. I've been, I've been using it for uh, different things. I, I made a little bracket right there for uh, holding the TIG torch. Just stuff like that. Simple little things bending, bending metal. That's pretty thick metal right there. And, uh, so I just kind of wanted to show, because uh, I notice when I TIG weld, the metal gets really, really hot, and it gets really, really, uh, I guess the word would be malleable. But, uh, so I use the, you, you could just use the 1 8 tungsten, <clears throat> in this case. You just use the 1 8, it's a really thick tungsten. This is a 17, CK 17, with the flex, I got, I got the foot pedal and everything. I upgraded a little bit. I just wanted to show show though. So this is the 17. Um, it's not a flex. It's a rigid CK CK 17 RG rigid, and uh, I have. You can actually use a 1 16th or a 3 30 seconds, but I I like to use the the thicker diameter right here. You just put. You could just put the argon on 5 to 10 uh, CFH. But like, if you just wanted to bell some, uh, well, well, not well, if you just wanted to bend something like this, like you're making brackets for uh, exhaust or something like that, you don't have an oxycetylene. If you don't know, oxycetylene uh, setups are highly expensive. So if you just have a TIG welder, if you just have something like that, you can use this really in uh, in some circumstances. It doesn't work it exactly like a um, oxycetylene torch. But, uh, I mean, for what I need it for, just bending simple pieces of steel or something like that up to, like, basically 3 8 inch thick, it works fine for me. I'm just going to basically show how I use it to, to do that. What I do is I have a foot pedal on this TIG torch, and uh, I start off slow, and I go around it like this. I try to work it around like this, get the heat, then I heat, then I increase the heat, and I try to move it a little bit faster, left and right, left and right, and I use something like this, and then I just go down on it. So I'll, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to demonstrate that. I like to wrap this around my hand like that. All I'm going to do is bend some metal. That's all I'm doing using this. This is a TIG torch. This is not an oxyacetylene torch. But if you don't have an oxycetylene torch, you want to bend some metal just to make some brackets or something like this, this is a good idea for you. So, let me get to it. I just have it set at the top 98 amps, <clears throat> and I'm using the foot pedal. So, I'll go all the way up to the 98 amps. When you're when you're seeing me, I'm using the 1 8 inch uh, tungsten. But, uh, let's just do it. We're just going to bend some metal. That's all we're doing.
And then that's just basically how I use it to make brackets or whatever. Um, it's a real simple idea. I've just never seen nobody really use it for that purpose out there. Um, when you're on a budget, you don't really have an oxyacetylene setup. This is really hot, by the way, right now. Um, this this is on the level where it's pretty much this right here is a little too hard to uh, bend just using like a mallet and, and everything like that because it's just it's at that point where it's gonna it's gonna flex the metal a little too much. And, uh, this is actually extremely hot right now. Um, but uh, so I'm just using it basically to uh bend metal and uh what you want to do is you just want to um let me see if i can zoom out sorry you just want to um heat it up for about 10 seconds on lower amperage using using the foot pedal if I was didn't have a foot pedal, I'd set it at about 60 to 70 amps, and then just start it like that. But uh, I mean, you can see like if you bent metal this far without it being heated, it would have snapped in half. But like I, I'm using this to make uh, brackets for welding exhaust and everything. I, I currently don't have oxy acetylene torch. I was thinking about getting oxy acetylene torch. But it really ends up being quite expensive when you take into consideration how much uh, a settling costs nowadays and everything. And uh, let me just hit it on the grinder and uh, you can see it ends up looking clean. There you go. You just have a nice bent piece of steel if you got to bend steel into it, whatever way you got to bend the steel and uh, the thing is when you bend it with uh, using the heat um, it holds its 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 temper a little bit better if I was to bend this the way that it was previous without any heat if I was just to bend it I mean it would start cracking right here and it wouldn't really have any of its strength anymore. I mean, I would be able to just pull this and it would be able to just break like that. But uh, when you're using heat, you can use it. And this is pretty, this is my my pinky. This is probably like, a, I gotta say, a, this is pretty thick. This is probably three eighths inch thick or, or something like that. But uh, I've never seen anyone use a TIG torch really to heat up a piece of steel in order to bend it. I've been using it recently for that purpose, and uh, I just thought it was something interesting for you guys out there who are, are got your little welders at home and everything. And uh, if you wanted to, you can uh, fill it in right here with some extra steel and give it some extra strength. You can actually grind down here and add some extra steel and everything. But uh, I thought this was cool. I like to be able to use things for more than they're just more than just you're able to use it for. But uh. If you're making exhaust brackets, if you're doing anything that you need to bend some steel, I've bent all the way up to uh, over half inch thick with this. It took a long, uh, it took a little while, but I bent half inch thick. So, anyways, using a TIG torch as a regular torch. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.